No, because you should have been able to target his head from the get-go because that would have neutralized Del. You could. You could target. I think you can target either one, and it'll just change up the second phase. I feel like the tail's what you're supposed to ideally take out first. Uh, we're live in front of Carnegie Hall, which has become a scene of complete chaos. Miss, you are the sole survivor of this horrible ordeal, correct? I... Until now, this combustion theory has been acknowledged only by occult enthusiasts. Please just leave me alone. This incident happened to take place on Christmas Eve of all nights. I would like to represent the citizens of the city and interview you exclusively. Oh. Yes! Fuck you! Are you crazy? Jim, did you get this on tape? Scram, buddy. Daniel. Sorry I'm late, eh? Daniel's fucking awesome. Hey, are you okay? That was really something that happened back there. Yeah. Oh, but my date. Heard from a cop that your boyfriend ran out of there like a wuss. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. Sorry your date didn't go well. It's not like that. I had him escort me because he kept pestering me for a date. Yeah, but of all places, the opera? There's a story. Ha! That's why the opera, huh? Is that the in thing now? That's all they had in the paper. I don't know. Just caught my eye. Don't tell me you were onto this case. So you finally got some cop instinct in you, huh? From a cop. They're all cops. Couldn't have just said Fred. Instinct? Daniel, shouldn't you be with your son? It's Christmas Eve. Ah, oh, well, I'm a terrible father. He knows his dad's a cop. My boy understands. Anyway, to change the subject, I heard things from people who were there. This is one hell of an incident, huh? Mitochondria. Mitochondria? Symbiosis? Venom? No. Uh, when was I in the hospital? Hey, Aya. You asleep? Oh, well. I won't blame you after what you've been through tonight. Yeah, so if I remember correctly, when you go to jump down that first hole, you can just say forget it and leave and just skip all that bullshit. It all started with this incident. Six days that would become a nightmare for all. People will eventually forget and go on with their lives. I'll never forget it. It was pure terror, but... Is this game well received when it was released? Yes! I think it was a little mixed when it released, but like, you gotta remember, this came out around the same time as 7, so it was not quite, uh, you know, prime era for RPGs yet. But critically, the story was very highly praised. Day 2. Fusion. Will you save your progress? Yes, I will. Save hype. Rotate those saves, kids. If you don't know how to rotate your saves, you don't know how to play a game. You gotta rotate. The old rotato. Why would you rotate saves? Um, it's not really necessary. Well, it, it just sort of depends. Um, the idea being that if I got myself stuck somewhere, I could load an earlier save and I would have access to items I may have used or things like that. Just a way to help yourself from getting stuck. 
Hey, you okay? You ought to be resting. Wish I could, but I'm the only one who knows what happened last night. Been gathering some info on Melissa. She's got no relatives and no close friends. She was sick often, always on some kind of medication. People at the opera said they were amazed she could even stand on stage. Her apartment burned down right after the incident. We have no info on her medication. So what's this spontaneous combustion stuff all about? It wasn't exactly spontaneous. People were actually set on fire. Oh, come on. What, like one of those ESP things? That's the best way to describe it for now. ESP, huh? Well, I'm not buying it. But if you're right, how are we supposed to deal with something like that? I believe her. After all, A is the only witness so far. But if you're going to take on a suspect like that, you'd better ask Baker for a better firearm. I read your report. Still hard to believe, but we can't deny all those deaths. We're going to go all out to solve this case. Make sure you're well equipped. Go down to the weapons department and give this permit to Torres. He'll help you out. Mod permit! Excuse me, sir. I have to loot your office for valuables. You might have valuables. Do you have valuables? Are there any valuables? No valuables. Let's look at that vest. Oh, vest is way better. Damn, I should have should have saved that uh defense. Crit goes down, but oh, oh. Oh wait, did I not? Oh, it just yeah, it's just a permanent mod that I use. On. Well, I needed to use it anyway, so it's fine. Gun wise, we're good. But if you're right, how are we supposed to deal with something like that? That's not my problem. Shoot it. ISP. Appears to be a sketch of Eris. It's right downstairs. Thanks, bitch. What is it in here? Ah. Oh, even better vest. And some drugs. Some good drugs. Better put on your vest too. Can't be too careful. Put on that vest. Let's, let's see. Defense goes down, but P energy goes up. High defense, strong against 
missing. Oh no. That auto is good too, though, because that is. Yeah, use medicine whenever HP is low. It's auto heal! Very good for early game. I swear to God, I'm trying to avoid John. Now I'm thinking about it, and that's making me yawn. Ugh. Uh, I think it's the prison upstairs. Bother going to prison, it's just one room, and they tell you to fuck off. You're like, it's a fucking prison, get out. What do you want? Uh, this is the weapons department, I think. No, yes. Hey there, good looking. Got the crap, Wayne. Where's Torres? That baldy, who knows? So what'll it be? Shotgun rocket launcher? Wayne. Yes, yes, sir. What'd you call him baldy? He's got a full head of hair. Idiots like you are the reason why guns won't disappear from this country. Get your ass back to weapon storage. You're far from ready to be handling guns in here. Okay, okay. Sheesh. The guy in charge of the weapons department doesn't like guns. That's one of my favorite things. It's great. Torres, I need some equipment. For last night's case, I heard it was quite a mess. Oh! The co-star. What is up? Thank you for that host. As long as cops rely on guns, criminals will too. It's a vicious cycle. I hate to hand a weapon to a young cop like you. But I hear this isn't your ordinary crook. Guess I can't send you off empty-handed. Say, you can't carry any more equipment. Wayne, take some, some of her things and put them in storage. Yeah, yeah. You have something to say, officer? No, sir. So you want to leave something here? Alright, so yeah. We have a storage system. Huzzah. Cause reasons. Cause reasons. So let's see. Our our. Can I? I don't think I can. No. So let's move. Oh yeah. Look at this garbage system. Let's get rid of this club. I don't think I've ever used the club in this game. Not once. I can't get rid of it. Oh, I'm required to keep a melee weapon in case I run out of bullets. Um, let's put that there. Let's put the uh, ammo crate there. Don't know what they are, but they're there. You know it. How are you doing tonight, co-star? Um, and then I can put these other vests in here because they're shit-ass vests compared to what I'm wearing. I like Kevlar, not bad. I can't remember if there's a way to sell. I feel like yes. I'll distribute bonus points. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing excellent. I'm playing Parasite Eve. It's a great fucking game. It's good times. All right. I've emptied up my inventory. Give me your fucking most powerful gun I can allow you to have. It's a potato gun. Uh, M16A1. Jesus Christ. Torres gave me an assault rifle. Captain Baker already notified me. Show me your modification permit again. 
Which gun? Yes, add slot. All right, just wait here. Never heard of it before? Oh, man. It's a survival horror RPG that Square made around the same time as Final Fantasy VII. Uh, just remember, cops own guns for protection. Don't let the guns own you. I love that he doesn't like guns. It's such a stupid, like, character notice. Uh, don't tell Torres, but you can use your tool to tune up your guns. You can rearrange equipment, parameters, and added effects to tweak your equipment. I can show you some cool tune-up techniques. These graphics are amazing. This game was released in 1997. Tune-up icon! Using the tool item, you can add or remove parameters and added effects on your weapon or armor to create customized equipment. If you remove an added effect from a weapon or armor, that equipment will disappear. The number of added effects that can be attached to a piece of equipment is determined by the number of slots on that equipment. You can decrease the number of slots by getting your equipment modified at the NYPD weapons department. It's weird that back in the day, big companies would come out with two games in short succession. I know, right? Like, I wonder what the logic was, because FF7 was even, like, even then it was being marketed as a huge fucking deal. Um, I wonder if maybe it's... Uh, and this is just talking out my ass. I wonder if maybe it's, um, it's a residual side effect of... FF7 originally going to be a Nintendo exclusive before they refused to switch from cartridges. Maybe the plan was you put out your big classic JRPG on Nintendo's console and then you drop this quirky little survival horror thing on uh, on Sony's console. Never got into Final Fantasy. Well, we'll be playing Final Fantasy 8 again as soon as that remaster drops, so get ready. <laughs> of course, you can use them without bullets. Can't use them without bullets... So you better make sure you always have your club. Just in case, you know. Now why don't you leave the stuff you don't need with me? Sounds like a good idea. Discard junk. What are you talking about? You got no junk with you right now. Store item. Uh, I, I don't need these fucking keys anymore. I'm just wasting space. Uh, medicine's on top. Um, And are there any... No, those didn't have any perks. So let's see what we can do here. I don't have a tool, so I don't think I can do anything. Watch other people play it. Just not something that I would personally buy or get lost in the game. That's fair. RPGs aren't aren't for everyone. I totally get that. Um... I, I think I played 7 and 8 and 9 and all those at, like, just the right time. Ah, uh, yeah, there's nothing to take off those. Distribute bonus points. I have 112 bonus points. So I can't take these back once I put them on. I am here for Parasite Eve! What's up, Bop? How are you today? Uh, well, let's go ahead and... Oh, is there an... Is there an upper... Oh, it's a hundred... Points for every one point. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. What is this game? I don't know it at all. This is a circa 1997 survival horror RPG. Square self-made at the same time as... Holding out on me, Torres. Same time as Final Fantasy VII. Y'all got drugs, too. Oh, that one. And that one. Torres, give me that one. That one's fucking huge. Alright, so we got... We're gonna equip the M16. But we'll keep the M19. It's like a top-down RE. Not really. Like, yes, tonally, it's very close to Resident Evil. Uh... Kind of plays like Final Fantasy XV, honestly, with the way the battle system works. It was a weird thing to say. Kennel! Oh my god, can I pet the dogs? Wish I could give her a nice Christmas dinner. Your wife or the dogs? Let me pet you! 
Let me love you. Full of weird things to say. Shoot the dog. No! Say it. Say it. I will pet you soon. Why would I shoot the dogs? The dogs are rare and precious. Authorized personnel only weapons department. The good shit is. Nah, that's just where Torres keeps all his Twinkies. Oh yeah. Hello, I am a 1997 PlayStation RPG character. said those graphics so this is Ben Ben this is Aya now what are you doing here here tickets oh yeah concert sorry son daddy's real busy today I promise I'll make up for it fine Urgh. Ben Every kid needs a mother. Why is this kid a tiny Hugh Hefner? Why is this kid a tiny Bud Hefner? I think he's wearing like uh, 90s street clothes, like you know, basketball shorts and whatnot. But you can't really tell. These graphics make it look like he's wearing a smoking jacket. Oh, that's not true. I was raised by my father too after my mother died. I'll always be grateful for him. Yeah, well, his mother's still alive. She's just a bitch. Daniel's son, Ben, Daniel divorced his wife last year. That was before you were assigned here. He kept saying every boy needs a father, so he fought for Ben's custody with Lorraine, his ex-wife. I only won, but being a cop, I doubt if he has time to spend with him. Oh yeah, Captain Baker was looking for you. God, Kathy, you are just in everyone's fucking business. Captain Baker, I have a high-powered assault rifle and a big beefy vest, and I'm ready to go murdering. Sir? You were looking for me? Yes, we're having a pre press conference now, and I want you there, too. Me? That's right, you'll be on national television as the sole survivor of that incident. I see. You only answer when I ask you. The media is just looking for anything to grill us about. They may even turn you into a suspect, so you let me do the talking. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay, then. Let's go meet the press. Why have her there? It's a very good question. So you're saying this could be the work of a terrorist? Uh, that, that, that is what we currently speculate. How about accounts of officers and firemen at the scene bursting into flames? That was... Oh, no. I hit it. Oh, no. Buttons. Another question. Then how did Detective Brea survive without so much as a minor burn? Uh, that is the result of her quick thinking and training as an officer. I'm asking her the question. She... She said that my mitochondria were a mutation. <laughs> Hey, uh, I told you to shut the fuck up. Your mitochondria? Who said this? Melissa. No, she said she was Eve. But according to a report, Melissa Pierce was killed in the fire. Melissa did die. Her body had been taken over by this Eve. 
What's this Eve? Some kind of an alien? Wow, he is not good at following orders, huh? People, please, she's very tired and we are still investigating. That will be all for today. Hey, I thought I told you not to say anything. I'm telling the truth, sir. It's weird that you didn't mention this to any of us before right now. That's not the point. Who's going to believe you? You'll only stir up the media and cause people to panic. <clears throat> sir, she was only... Baker here. Who? What does he want? We'll put him through then. This is Captain Baker. What? Meat. You'll have to speak up. Yes. What? Ah, yes. All right. Some Japanese scientist, I think. Couldn't understand his English too well. He was raving about some Mito something. It says he's coming over here. Mito? Is it mitochondria? Literally the word I said two feet away from you not 20 minutes ago? You mean that thing in the cell that makes energy from oxygen? Might have heard about that in school. That's what Eve had said. Then it's time for the mitochondria to be set free. I just read that some researcher at the museum wrote a new theory on them. Sir, I'm taking Aya to go talk to this researcher. Go. Better get there before the media. You may explain that phone call, too. Yes, sir. Come on, Aya. ESP, huh? I'm still very skeptical of ESP. ESPN, car around meet me at the front all right don't you need to leave like for me to do that don't you do what i'm doing maybe no all right i guess he's gonna like hop out the window and meet me out there Case to have on Christmas, huh? Did you, did you just what a case to have on, man? I made this poor guy walk all over the place. What a case to have on Christmas, huh? to the museum. Oh, this was so cool in 1997. We're going to the Museum of Natural History. Dr. Hans Klopp will be there. Dr. Klamp. What's his area of research? Klopp? Why is it Klopp? Maybe it is supposed to be Klopp. It's Hans. Well, According to the papers, he's working on a new theory, mitochondria something, but it seems to cover the whole genetic spectrum. That's odd to have a PhD and be working in a museum. Well, he's pretty antisocial and doesn't like to waste time outside research. Oh great, we're going to have a grand time with this one. Yeah, yeah, I know where you're going with this. Just be careful this time, huh? Are you referring to the press conference? 
Yeah. Daniel, why do you kiss the chief's butt? You two joined the force at the same time, didn't you? Yeah, but that was years ago. Now he's my boss. American Museum of Natural History. He's my boss because I'm black. Whoa! It is 1998 New York. I mean, you know, it's... Been a while since I visited the museum. Dinosaur exhibit. Loved these things when I was a kid. Looks like it's closed today. Well, let's see what that security guard can do for us. Love that cut so that Daniel can get, like, way ahead of us. Hey there, how you doing? I have a giant lollipop, so I'm doing pretty good. Uh, pretty cold day, though. How about yourself? We're with the NYPD. We're looking for a Dr. Clamp. He works here, doesn't he? Sure does. As a matter of fact, he's up there in his room right now. Did he do something? No, we just want to talk to him, that's all. Thank you. It shouldn't take long. Place is pretty creepy without any people. You'll find him in the research lab on the second floor. He's been pretty busy for the past few weeks. He doesn't come out. Ever. Thanks. Oh, by the way, could you sign in? It's policy. Let's keep check of who comes in. Thanks, Aya. Gee, Daniel, you sure you don't want to run down here and do it yourself? No books on the counter. Thanks. I'm just going to save first, actually, so I don't have to sit through all these cutscenes again if something happens. Sticks are a little finicky for this. We're gonna save over that last save since not a lot changed. Just wanna not have to redo those cutscenes. Just my name? Yep. That should be enough unless you want to leave your number two. Do it, Aya. Leave your number. Bang this old security guard. Hey, over here. Oh, progression? Let me just check everything over here real quick. Just gonna... Can't open those doors. Alright. Hey, it's open. Let's check it out. Excuse me? Hello? Hey! Dr. Clamp? Dr. Clamp! I hear you. We're with the NYPD. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Professor, we're looking for clues concerning the incident which, which occurred. Are you accusing me? This again? What is this? This man. I know him, I think. What's 
wrong. Are you okay? Y yeah. We'd like to ask you about the mitochondria research you've been doing. NYPD, huh? Why are you interested in my work? The suspect mentioned that the mitochondria would be set free. Now, do you... That suspect ignited people without laying a finger on them. Then it transformed into some kind of creature and ran off. Since she mentioned mitochondria, we were hoping you could supply us with some info. <laughs> you do have absolutely no idea what the true mitochondria is like. Do you? The mitochondria possesses its own unique genetic code. Its own? Are you saying it's a separate organism? Precisely. Kind of like a parasite or something, huh? Parasite? That's an interesting way of describing this most fascinating creature. We cannot live without the mitochondria, do you understand? The mitochondria creates energy for us. Without it, we're nothing. We are here because the mitochondria allows us to be here. Our brain, for example. The brain functions due to interactions between axons and dendrites. This interaction is possible due to the energy the mitochondria provides. Did you know the mitochondria is capable of discharging 200,000 volts of electricity? This not only pertains to electrical discharge, but also applies to heat energy as well. Heat? Then the combustions from last night were... For a human to burn and melt, 1600 degrees of heat must be generated. There are several hundred mitochondria present within a single cell. If all the mitochondria in the body began functioning at the same time, a tremendous amount of energy would be generated and released. Melting a human into a puddle of fluid would be a simple task with so much energy. So you're saying that the mitochondria ignited those people? Professor, you may be right in that we need the mitochondria to live. But in the end, we're just using them for energy, right? <laughs> you have no idea. The mitochondria has control over an organism's growth. Take this hand, for example. Before we're born, this hand is merely a glob of flesh. But when cells between the fingers deteriorate, that's when the rest that's when the thing is first formed. When the cells which make up the body aren't needed anymore, it receives a signal to die. This signal is initiated by the mitochondria. When it is relayed, the genetic information in the nucleus is cut off and in essence dies. The same can be said for aging. The mitochondria mutates ten times faster than cells. Of course, this also applies to mutant forms of mitochondria as well. When too many mutant mitochondria multiply, energy production level decreases. The decrease in energy production is associated with the aging process. So, are you still stupid enough to say that we are the higher species? But you're not saying that the mitochondria is doing all this consciously, right? When I said that the mitochondria can mutate ten times faster than normal cells, I also meant that they could evolve at a rate ten times faster. Since the beginning of creation, the mitochondria has been evolving at this rate. It's no surprise that they possess a power beyond our cognition. No surprise at all. Let me tell you something. There was a scientist who tried to determine the mutation rate of the mitochondria. With this, the scientist wanted to establish a connection with human ancestry. In 1987, it was announced that the root of all humans can be traced to a single woman in Africa. This finding was announced around the world. And with this, the mitochondrial theory spread like wildfire. You know what they call the root of it all? Mitochondria Eve. Splendid name, just incredible. Eve? The suspect in yesterday's case called herself Eve. What? Hey, if you know anything, you better not be holding back on us. She called herself Eve? Sorry, but I've told you what I know. I'd like to return to my studies now. I believe you know the way out. Hey, you better explain what the hell is going on here. Daniel, forget it. Let's just go. God damn it.
What the hell is wrong with that guy? I can't stand it. And man, I've seen him before, but I can't remember where. It's Daniel. What? Okay, we'll be right there. Hey, it looks like we got a break in the case. What? We gotta get back to the station. Hey, hang on, I'm kicking this to Turbo. case we'll be bag this creep soon I'd hate to bump into him on the street hey I'm just a New York City cop working the front desk hey I'd hate to bump into this guy getting a slice of pie you know what I mean Gabby the whole place is going nuts wonder what happened oh god Kathy it's none of your fucking business Steal your shit later. I see you're calling to go. Yes, paint. Oh wait, hey, we have an emergency meeting in the conference room. Save again. That was a lot of info dump. Just info dump. This game really is front loaded with the exposition. Straight by Kathy and her nosy ass. Let's go, folks. We're uh, meeting. We're starting the meeting. Melissa's solo concert was scheduled for today. She had disappeared after last night's incident, and the concert was canceled. The people are still gathering at the stage. We must not let another massacre happen again. The concert is at the Central Park Amphitheater. Central Park? What is it, Daniel? Ben and Lorraine, they're at that concert. What? Daniel, we're not through yet. Screw you, beggar. My son's in danger. Daniel. Eh? Hey, uh, watch his back. Yes, sir. Mod permit! Actually, gonna go for that mod permit and storage and sit on it for a little bit. Uh, 
When are you going to let me tune up the guns? I didn't ask to be assigned here to watch over the warehouse all day, you know. As long as you see guns as toys, you'll never touch them. Hey, I know I can make a stronger gun than you. Guns aren't supposed to be stronger, you numbskull. They're supposed to be safer. Fine, you geezer. I win. I can turn that gun into a cannon easy. <laughs> That's what worries us. Um, I'm going to leave the mod permit. I'm going to leave this medicine too also. Because, yeah, 90 HP is a little much. And I'm going to keep the revive. Move one of the meds though. Equipment. Um, I think we're good. Yeah, nine of sixteen. Nice. Uh, right. So I said I was gonna look at um items. All right, look at the system later. So basically, uh, you have a limited item capacity. I'm at sixteen right now. It's increased when you level up periodically like every other level you get an extra slot uh, and then also uh, your vest you equip some of them will have perks that give you additional uh, additional item slots so there's a little bit of an item management to it uh, P is just your parasite energy abilities you get a bunch of them by the end weapons your gun um, attack range bullets the range it dictates how big that uh, green circle when I'm in battle is if they're in the green circle they take damage if they're out of the green circle you miss that simple and then those at the bottom are just mods like this one's rate of fire 2 I can fire 2 shots per round I guess so every time I attack I can fire 2 bullets armor uh, same thing mods down here this one's got auto potion and then just your system sort your tool which I don't have any tools right now and distribute the bonus points Oh, you can update uh, your item capacity here, too. I forgot about that. That's what I should have put those bonus points into. So, there's your UI. A lot of systems in this game. A whole lot of systems. All right, Daniel, hang on. We're going to save your son again.